guys, welcome back. It has been a hot minute, so I apologize. It's just life. I'm sure you know where I'm coming from. Um, so today's video, we're gonna talk about just random household items that you can use to clean your firearms. Um, one thing that I like is when you clean your firearms with these jeans, it kind of acts like a microfiber towel because it gets up all of that dirt and dust and those fine little particles that comes off your firearm just by using some denim. So I went through and I was like, well, I guess I can't wear these anymore. There's a huge hole in the leg. Um, just when you ride horses, that's just kind of what happens, wear and tear on your jeans, right? Um, so. I have these old jeans. Some people like to make quilts out of them. I think this is just ready to be cut up into tiny little pieces to clean my firearms. And then if you have, you know, like your kids, I highly recommend washing the socks before using them. Um, but if you have kids or even just like your husband or even your own socks, and they get holes in them. Instead of throwing, throwing them away and then buying towels for this, I like to save money. I don't know if you guys know that, but I love saving money. I like to save trash. I like to save everything and I try to reuse it. Um, you know, like this photo for instance. I am a coffee drinker and I love hazelnut creamer and I cleaned them all out and then I started my little seeds in them. So that's just like a little thing that I like to do. I like to recycle and reuse because why not? So socks, jeans, any type of clothing would work. I cut it up and use that. So let me show you. But first things first, you need to make sure that all of your firearms are unloaded before you start to clean them. Now you wanna make sure all your ammunition is Put away and we have an accidental discharge so put your ammunition away then I'll close on my gun box so I can have it for later okay so firearm is unloaded now I'm gonna go ahead and just disassemble all right so this is not I have not cleaned this for a while but it actually looks pretty clean maybe so i hope everybody is doing well you know i've been mia for a while so i apologize um but i want to know in the comments state are you from put them in the comments below i want to know where are my local utah peeps at or are you our neighbors drop your state in the comments below okay so for this video this is not sponsored by any means <laughs> And I am lazy when it comes to cleaning my firearms. Like, that's embarrassing. But you know what? This is just what it is, okay? Um, after my basic pistol courses, um, we disassemble and clean our firearms so, so my students know how to do it when they get home and how to do it safely. Um, so we just do that. And I just have random, you know, hand wipes and Q-tips. Um, but... I'm gonna use Shooter Lube. Um, this is my always go-to to clean my firearms. I'll put a link below if you were interested in it. They are from West Jordan, Utah, so if you like to support local, definitely go check them out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the sock first, um, and then I'm gonna cut up just a little piece of my slide. Okay. Guys probably like what the hell you need to get better scissors okay here we go just this little piece that's all I really need okay um I recommend you know putting a towel down or something so the oils don't get stuck onto your table and ruin your table or anything like that um I haven't had an issue with shooter loop whatsoever but I just like to have my towel all right so we have stage one so with stage one, you're just gonna spray. I mean, this is kind of just what I do. I just spray down that barrel, and then I get your get your slide, get your recoil spring, and just spray it. That's all you really have to do. Okay, so let's get a sock. And you know, this sock is black, so you can't really see everything that's coming up, but I guarantee you there's a lot. <laughs> all right. 
One thing that I like about Shader's Loop too is that it keeps your firearm looking clean through just like your basic carry. Um, obviously when you go shooting, you get to decide if you clean it after or not. That's okay. It's all just kind of a personal preference on when, how you clean them. Just make sure you're doing it safely. All right. So this is like the sock, you know, you can just wipe it down pretty easy. Okay, so now that I sprayed stage one down my barrel, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab just some of this. I'm gonna rip it off. You could also use your denim jeans or even your sock. Okay, I mean, it wasn't too terribly bad. So, just there's that. I gave it just a little wipe down and then I checked the barrel just to make sure that it's just free from obstructions, there's no dust or lint in there, and then I call it a day. Um, so, there's that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we are going to take stage two, which is the oil, and you're just going to oil it up just a bit. Um, this oil goes a long way so what I like to do is I just like to take my slide and on the slide part I just put one little dot of oil and then I just watch it drop down the slide but I do that to both sides okay and then while it's running down I grab a q-tip and I just kind of help the process and then I'm just gonna wipe it off. I know it just helps me sleep at night, so there's that. Okay, then with my recoil spring, just get my denim, just kinda work that spring a bit. Okay. And from there, that's basically it. So, I don't know if you noticed, but I cut the denim jean again. Um, and you can have so many of these to put into your cleaning kit. You can wash these and then reuse them again. So I like that instead of having these where you have to throw them away, um, you could use that. So you could even cut it a little bit and then put it down the barrel of your firearm if that's what you choose to do. Um, it's just a fabric, so it's not gonna actually hurt the barrel. Um, I would like to say, <laughs> see if this will work we're just experimenting guys okay yeah so there's your denim jeans you could literally cut a whole bunch of these little squares for your cleaning kit as well and then there you go then you have some sort of fabric to help you clean your firearms plus you can also wash these I would put them in like a little bag or something like that so these don't get eaten up by your washer. Um, that's just what I would do. Okay, now that my firearm is clean, I'm gonna put it back together. So here's your slide, your barrel. You're just gonna make sure your barrel is in place. You're gonna get your recoil spring and then your frame. And just like that, we have a clean firearm while using random objects that you were probably going to throw away anyway um you don't have to do this by any means and i'm sure that i'll probably get some hate for this especially using denim through my barrel but guess what my firearm will still fire i'm not people will jam this through your barrel so i mean bring on the arguments i don't even care i'm still going to do what's best for me and i'm still going to clean my firearm this way just because it works all right, guys, so make sure you go check out my medic, um, the gun box. The gun box is actually having a sale right now, so go check it out. I'll link it below. Get yourself some shooter lube um, because this stuff is amazing and it lasts a long time. So there's that. Um, keep your old jeans with holes in them and use that to clean your firearms. Okay, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, Drop in the comments below, what would you like to see from my channel? Do you want to see me out training? What kind of videos do you want me to post for you guys? 
Um, I'm here for you guys, so please let me know. Put them in the comments below. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Stay safe. Bye.